it's been a year. It's been a year. It's been a year. And I, I want to emphasize, <laughs> I want to emphasize how organically this all started. I mean, this is fucking incredible that I'm standing on this stage and there's a full house of people. I mean, and that's a testament to Amelia and her hard work and her tenacity and her genius. And I want to thank her so much. Because she made this happen. Um, but you know, a year ago, we were just some pals chatting about abortions. Um, and now it's now, and there's a thing, a real thing. I mean, it was really just, it was a very organic, spontaneous expression of frustration and sort of claustrophobia. Like, why the fuck do I keep this a secret? Why does this only live inside of me? Why do I not connect with the other people in my life who have gone through this experience and who have been shamed and stigmatized and tormented because of it? Why do we not have solidarity? Why do we not join together and share our stories and our experiences? And so we did, we did, and it was very clear very quickly that there was a need, that there was a vacuum, and that people wanted to talk. And I have to acknowledge that that comes from a place of privilege. I mean, there is a reason why. Like, I risk very little talking about my abortion. I don't risk, I don't risk uh, being, um, what's the word when you're kicked out of your family? I, disowned. I, I was like, mm. I don't risk being disowned by my family. I live in a liberal city. I risk, I don't, I, I risk very little violence. I, I don't live in fear for my life. And, and that really galvanized, I think, both me and Amelia to do this harder, you know? I mean, if I, if I ha have won this lottery and I can do this in relative safety, then fuck yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to use my body like an icebreaker and clear some fucking space and create whatever tiny amount of safety I can for people who didn't grow up in the circumstances that I did and aren't as fortunate. Um, and I don't know, I just want to say, you know, I spent the last two days in Chicago at um, something called the ANAD conference. And ANAD stands for Anorexia Nervosa and Associated Disorders. It's an eating disorder conference for uh, clinicians and caregivers and people who run inpatient and outpatient programs. And these are people, I, I, the whole time I couldn't get over the similarities between the, just the lack of open gratitude for abortion care providers and people who care for uh, people who suffer from disordered eating and people who have lived their whole lives in a culture that told them that there was only one way to have a body and that if you, and if you don't starve and carve yourself into one specific shape, you are not a person. Uh, those are the same to me. Those are the same. Uh, after I gave my talk yesterday morning at ANAD, I went back to my hotel room and um, just coincidentally was deluged with uh, some Twitter shitstorm about how fat I am. And it was then it was, it's been like <laughs> 36 hours of people screaming at me that I'm a fat bitch and I need to lose weight and I need to move more, eat less. Um, and I need to spend less time blocking people on Twitter and more time blocking the food that goes in my mouth. I know. And it's the fucking same. It's alienating people from their bodies. It's telling people that their bodies do not belong to them. And my entire life people have told me that my body didn't belong to me. And it fucking does. And I, I see no difference between a culture that tells people that you're not a human unless you conform to an arbitrary number on a scale, a country that tells every human being with a uterus that what grows in their body is up for public debate, and a regime that tells black people it's their place to be murdered in the street by agents of the state, 
The message is that your body is not yours and we will punish you for using it wrong. We will punish you with violence and with alienation and marginalization. And I don't fucking do that anymore. And Shout Your Abortion is a crystallization of that defiance. And I am proud and honored to use what privilege I have to do that and to hold that space. And I am so fucking proud of all of you for being here. I'm so grateful to all of you. And I, I don't know. I don't have anything else. I'm just like, I'm just overwhelmed with love and joy. And your body, no matter its shape or anatomy or gender, belongs to you and you alone, and you decide what to do with it. Lindy motherfucking West, y'all.